Hello everyone, Pharmacist Michael here. And because we're going into winter, today I'm gonna to talk to you about 10 foods that can help boost your immune system. The first one is blueberries, one of my favorites. I add blueberries to plain Greek yogurt every single day, usually at lunch. Blueberries contain a substance called anthocyanin, which has antioxidant properties. Blueberries are one of the superfoods. They are amazing. I would strongly suggest eating some blueberries. Raspberries are good too. All the berries are really able to help with your immune system and probably should be added to this list. But of the bunch, I believe blueberries are the best. Number two, my favorite spice, turmeric. Turmeric has been used in Indian medicine for thousands of years. Turmeric helps not only with the immune system because of its antioxidant properties, it contains curcumin, but it also can help with inflammation. It can help with pain, both musculoskeletal pain and nerve pain, and it can actually improve your mood as well. If you can't get enough turmeric, I do have a turmeric supplement in my store, Sunshine Nutraceuticals, and you can find it at www.sunshinentc.com. I take turmeric every day for the arthritis in my lower back. Number three is broccoli. Broccoli is probably the healthiest vegetable that you can eat. It contains vitamin A, E, and C, and we know vitamin C is a very important for our immune system. And vitamin E is as well. Broccoli is wonderful. It contains multiple vitamins and minerals. So if you like broccoli, just steam it. Don't overcook it. Steam it for about five minutes. Goes with almost anything. Number four is green tea. I've talked about green tea in some of my other videos about dieting. Green tea is also full of antioxidants. It's very good for you. If you're dieting, if you sip green tea during the day, it can actually help you. It can help you not be as hungry because caffeine is known to be an appetite suppressant. So green tea makes the list because of its antioxidant properties. Number five is red bell peppers. A lot of people don't know that red bell peppers actually have almost three times as much vitamin C as an orange. I use red peppers almost nightly when I cook and I use them for my lunch wraps too. So I put them in stir fries, I slice them up and put them in, in wraps. They're wonderful, full of vitamin C, very healthy and can help your immune system. Number six is garlic. Garlic contains a sulfur compound called allicin and Garlic is believed to have multiple medicinal effects, not just on your immune system, but it can also help your heart. We think it can help prevent hardening of the arteries and may even be able to lower your blood pressure. Again, I cook with garlic. Almost everything I make has a little bit of garlic in it. Garlic is another food that can really help your immune system. Number seven is ginger. And I usually tell people who are nauseated to make some ginger tea because it's very good for nausea, but it can also help your immune system. It can reduce inflammation. We know that helps with immunity. So if you have a sore throat, it can help with that. And it can also help with other inflammatory illnesses such as arthritis. Number eight is yogurt. And I'm gonna throw kefir in here too. What's good about yogurt? Well. First of all, it has vitamin D in it. Vitamin D is known to help the immune system. It also contains bacteria which can help the gut. Good bacteria in the gut does a lot of things. But one of them is it actually produces vitamins. And some of these vitamins can help the immune response. Vitamin D is very important for not only the immune system, but it's also important for mood. We find that patients that have very low vitamin D levels sometimes are depressed and when we boost up their vitamin D levels with supplements, they, they feel better and their mood improves. The one thing about yogurt is please look at the labels. I prefer plain Greek yogurt. If you eat the yogurts that have flavorings, 
They contain a lot of sugar. You don't need that extra sugar. Just put some blueberries in there like we talked about at number one. Number nine is almonds. Almonds have a lot of vitamin E, another antioxidant. They're also a source of healthy fats. Be careful with almonds though. You don't want to eat too many of them because they are full of calories, but they're good fats. So almonds, vitamin E, vitamin E is a fat soluble vitamin. So it also helps us absorb fats. Almonds are number nine. And number 10 is spinach. We all know spinach is very healthy for us. Remember Popeye, it makes you strong, right? Vitamin C, vitamin E, again, very important for the immune system. I take spinach, throw it into my smoothies. You, if you don't like the taste of spinach, you can dress it up in a smoothie and not even be able to taste it. There are other foods that are good for the immune system, foods that contain zinc, things like garbanzo beans, meats, shellfish. Zinc's important as well for the immune system. So what I usually tell people is my way to boost the immune system is to supplement my diet with vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, and I take quercetin to help get the zinc where it needs to go. So that's what I do and I also take a probiotic. But as you can see from this video, you can get all these things if you eat the right foods as well. So going into winter, take care of your body. Remember, it's a lot easier to prevent an illness than it is to treat it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends who may like to hear this information and please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing many more videos about health, wellness, and mindset. Be happy and be healthy.